Listen, buddy, you need to step out of the car. Listen, buddy, that's not how the law works. Yes, it is. I'm telling you to step out. I'm giving you a lawful order to step out the I'm car. telling you that's not unlawful. That's unlawful. No, it's not. Because uh, for what reason do you need to meet it? For, for what reason? Sir, for, for what reason do you need me to step out of the vehicle? Sir, Detective Figueroa, San Antonio Police Department. Sir, for what your, reason do you, do you, you need? License, yes for no? what reason do you need me to have to step out of the vehicle? Sir, do you have your driver's license? Yes, I do. Okay, can you hand me your driver's license? Yes. All you gotta do is give me give me the ticket. Do what you gotta do, and that's it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Audit the Law. I'm highlighting a video for you folks today by the way of this channel here, going by the name of Big Rod. Today's video features the San Antonio Police Department out in the state of Texas. In this video, this man is stopped and pulled over for allegedly running a red stoplight, which in the state of Texas results to as a Class C misdemeanor with some fines if you are convicted. This man's first major interaction with the police quickly gets heated over a simple traffic infraction. The cop who pulls this man over is one you would definitely call a power tripper, and you guys will see why here in a minute. Immediately, this cop has a very aggressive demeanor with this man and orders him out of the vehicle. He even goes as far as to threatening this man to break his window if he doesn't exit the vehicle. This interaction escalates to pretty high levels of intensity until another cop takes over this interaction to de-escalate. I want you folks to go ahead and check this out. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. Sir, Step out. what happened? Step out Why the am I being pulled over, sir? Step out the vehicle. You ran a red light. Step out the vehicle. I did not run a red light. I have it on Step video, sir. Sir, I don't need to step out the vehicle. My hands are right here for officer safety. Get out the car. Sir, there's no need for all that. Hey, you're going to violate my rights? No, I'm not. You're being recorded. You're being recorded, officer. You ran a red light and you didn't pull over. Step out of the No, I signaled I had my hazard lights on. I clearly told you where I was going to where I was going to get up. You're being recorded, officer. Step out of the car. Step out of the car, sir. Sir. So you're being recorded. Sir. Step out of the car. You're being recorded, sir. Step out of the car. Look, I don't either. I'm officer safety. I have no reason to be coming out of the car. Go ahead and give me my ticket and go ahead and do what you go to do. Out of the car. Give me my ticket. Give me my ticket and we'll do Step what we gotta do. Car, you're gonna go to jail. You're on videotape, sir. Okay, that's fine. You are too. Step out. Look, of the you have car. another video camera. Step out of the car. Look, I'm gonna get my ID. No, you're not. I'm telling you to step out of the car. For what, sir? You ran a red light. But I, that doesn't mean you had to pull me out of the vehicle, sir. You need to step out of the car. That doesn't necessarily mean you need to pull me out of the vehicle, listen, sir. Listen, buddy, you need to step out of the car. Listen, buddy, that's not how the law works. Yes, it is. I'm telling you to step out. I'm giving you a lawful order to step out. The I'm car. telling you that's not unlawful. That's unlawful. No, it's not. Because uh, for what reason do you need to meet? For for what reason? Sir, for, for what reason do you need me to step out of the vehicle? Sir, Detective Figueroa, San Antonio Police Department. Sir, do for you what have reason do, do you, you need? Yes for no? what reason do you need me to have to step out of the vehicle? Sir, do you have your driver's license? Yes, I do. Okay, can you hand me your driver's license? Yes. All you gotta do is give me give me the ticket. Do what you gotta do, and that's it. Yeah, you need to hand it to me. I don't have to. It says to display that. Sir, sir, you're you being videotaped. Your driver's license. You committed a traffic violation, okay? Hand me your driver's license so we can see who you are. Under Take threat of information. A, under, under threat of arrest, you need my ID? Sir, yes. I under threat know. of arrest. Here, under threat of arrest, yes. It. Thank you. You're being recorded, just to let you know. I'm sorry? You're being recorded, just to let you know. Okay, just to let you know you are as well. Are you an Uber driver, Lyft driver? Yes, I'm on my way to a, a call right now. I can't hear you. I'm on my way to a call right now. A call for what? To pick up a rider. To pick up a rider? I'm not answering any other questions. Okay. Is your license valid? Yes. Do you have insurance on the vehicle? I'm not answering any questions. Okay, well, it's required by the state of Texas to have proof of insurance. Well, if you run that the plate, question that you need if you run answer. the plate, you can see Negative. that it does. You need to have an actual physical proof of insurance, either on your phone or a piece of paper. So go ahead and do me a favor. Let me go ahead and show you. All of what is happening right here, folks, I think is extremely unnecessary, as well as concerning. This has to be one of the worst kind of cops to deal with when being pulled over on a traffic stop. A cop who is willing to break your property, rough you up, and throw you in jail over a simple traffic infraction is not the kind of public servant you want out patrolling your streets. The kind of cop you don't want getting paid with your tax dollars. Running a red light is considered a traffic infraction, but also a victimless crime. Therefore, 
I don't believe you need to show ID if you did not commit a crime. Cops love to throw around the term sovereign citizen as if they're the ones who don't like to break the law on a daily basis. What you folks are seeing here is the kind of comply or die mentality that a lot of cops do have, believe it or not. Pennsylvania versus men's case law states that a cop can only order you out of your vehicle if they believe you are a threat to their safety, which is why this driver mentions officer safety at the beginning of this video. Not because he is deeply or genuinely concerned about this officer's safety, but more so for the safety of himself, and rightfully so. Not not even the cop can articulate a reasonable articulable suspicion of why he's a threat to his safety or why he wants him out of the vehicle in the first place. This traffic infraction alone does not constitute the right for this cop to remove him from the vehicle. We got a court date of June 24th for running this red light at Old Highway 90 in South Carolina. I'm not going to sign, sir. You're not going to sign? No, sir. Okay, here's, here's the issue, sir. If you don't sign this ticket, then I have to take you to jail. Okay? <laughs> This this ticket is just a promise to appear in court. You, you, you said it on camera. You said it on camera, so I got, I got to. I might as well. You said it on camera. Yeah, you have to. Apparently, I have to. Okay, let me see Unless that. Unless you want to go to jail, it's up to you. If you want to get to work, you can just sign this. Under ticket. under threat of arrest, you're willing me to sign that. Yep. Okay. Right here. Right there. Yes, I got you. Oh, go well, sign right there. Under threat of arrest. Here you go. Let me get your copy and you get to go. Okay. Alright, thank you. Have a nice one. Alright folks, and that's all she wrote for this one here. If you guys enjoyed this one, I want you all to hit the like and subscribe, as well as the bell notifications down below for future videos. But of course, more importantly, if you haven't yet already, please do be sure to head on over to the original channel and let them know I sent you. As always, the original video and channel links will be down below in the description, as well as in the comments. Thank God that Detective Cop was willing to take over this interaction to de-escalate. I guess he didn't want to be involved in a potential wrongful arrest lawsuit. But there is, of course, things put in place that protects cops from stuff like that happening to them, and that is called qualified immunity, meaning that if they believe in what their actions on the course of their duties were done in good faith, they can pretty much get away with whatever they please. The only time a cop loses qualified immunity is when they violate one's constitutional rights. That's right, folks. They have thought of absolutely everything to protect themselves for when they do wrong to the people on the job, which is why the First Amendment is so important and why we repeatedly preach it to you folks out there to know and understand it. Not just the First Amendment, but the laws on where you may be from. You will only empower yourself by doing so. The First Amendment to the Constitution of the United United States protects your rights to freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, and the freedom to petition your government for a redress of grievances. These are the five fundamental freedoms of the first law of the land here in the United States of America. And with that, I'd like to thank all you ladies and gentlemen for tuning in once again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Oh, you are not subscribed. Do it now or get off YouTube, bitches.